All right, y'all. This is day one and day two of the Costa Rica trip. Lord knows we got some uh, stuff to talk about. So without further ado, girl, here is this week's review of season eight, episode 14 of Basketball Wives. Lord, y'all, I have got to talk about these old hoes again. Girl, not only that, first of all, I have to appreciate each and every last person that has been subscribing to my YouTube channel and the subscriptions are still coming. I definitely appreciate that. Like I said, I try to like and comment back to most people. If I did not get a chance to get to you, don't think. I'm not grateful. I'm most certainly grateful. I had no idea that that tea talk would have took me from 800 subscribers to over 2000 subscribers. So I definitely got to appreciate y'all. I have an appreciation for y'all and just for y'all. I'm going to take a shot, girl, just for y'all off camera. I don't want YouTube to try to snatch my uh, stuff. Hold on. Cheers to you. Just a sip, girl. Just a sip. <sighs> Child, y'all keep sending me these teas about Evelyn putting a restrainer order out on OG. Girl, I haven't even looked it up yet. So when I do look it up and read more about it, I might give y'all a tea talk about that. But then again, I might not because at this point, I just don't care no more. Um, it served its purpose. Now that the purpose has been fulfilled, I really don't see no reason to continuously doing tea talks about anybody, especially Evelyn Wolf selling ticket ass Lozada. Um, but moving right along to this episode, because we got some shit to talk about. The mean girl click crew uh, shows up to the house first while Jackie, CC and OG showed up afterwards. How ironic. Moving right along. Kristen brings up the fact that she doesn't want to be near CeCe because of the neg negative energy. Kristen, here's what I got for you. Moving right along. Phoebe starting... Uh, wait a minute. I left something. Phoebe starts talking shit about Jackie again. Talking about how she talks about her behind her back. And it, it, again, that's a how ironic situation. Like, Phoebe, and I'm about to be completely honest with you, girl. At this point, I have nothing else left for you. I don't. Like, I've been reading your fuck ass through the entire season, damn near, of basketball wives. And I'm more than sure when the cash trip is here, that means the season is about to be a, a wrap. I've been reading you all season. I have nothing else left in the tank for you, Phoebe. I don't. The only thing I want is for you to get stumped. That's the only thing I want to happen to you, Phoebe. Other than that, I no longer have any more words for you. I'm not giving you any more energy because I don't have anything. I don't have anything else left to say that will humiliate and demean you even more than what I've already have and what you've already done to yourself, sis. So if, at this point on, I have nothing else left for, in the tank for Phoebe. I just don't. Reading her is so easy. It, it's, it, and they're going to be lazy reads at this point because I don't read her about every damn thing else. I don't read her about every damn thing else except for that crackhead shit. We're going to get to that in a minute. But Ms. Phoebe, girl, <clears throat> moving right on along. So all the ladies meet for dinner. Evelyn tells Kristen she shouldn't fuck with Cece anymore because of what she said about Thomas. Evelyn. And it's funny because not too long ago, your advice to OG was when it's dealing with family business, you need to stay out of it. Those were your words. We got you on camera saying that the camera can't use nothing that you don't give it. So what I find funny is the conversation had nothing to do with you. Kristen was talking. Cece was talking. Nobody else felt the need to interject. You going to sit your pasty ass down and going to tell Kristen if it was me, I wouldn't even fuck with her no more. Why would you do? Why does it mean so much to you 
to continuously cause a rift in Kristen and Cece's relationship as if they're never going to see each other again. They have to. She's marrying her husband's father. Why would you do that? Why would you open up your mouth and exert yourself into another situation that has absolutely nothing to do with you? And then you're going to do the proverbial turn around and want the fall victim to the shit that you started. And Kristen, you such a little ass girl and kiddish in the damn mind, because this is yet again another time you sat there and allowed somebody else to bad mouth your family to you. I don't care what you and CC got going on. You should never give nobody that much room to talk about anybody. Listen, me and my family, all of us don't get along all the time. We cuss each other out daily. But let an outsider come come up amongst us trying to cause rifts and start issues and drama and have their mouth and nose where it doesn't belong. We gonna be on their asses like white on rice and we'll be mad at each other later. Like Kristen, I, I don't know who raised you. I don't know what your family is about. But if that shit runs in your family, girl, keep it away from me. I don't like you. I don't deal with you. I don't need you sneezing and none of your fuck assness get on me. Keep that shit to yourself. Moving right on along. Uh, CC leaves. Um, and when she gets back to the car, CC says that she hates her. Now, that really made me sad because I don't care how much your family fuss, argue, or do anything. In my opinion, hate is a very strong word. And even when I say that, when I'm really upset, I have to catch myself and be like, wait a minute. Nobody is that important to where you feel the need to hate them. And it, it, it sucks because Kristen is so damn immature that she can't sit back and see the 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 the, the, the total outcome of this entire situation It's never going to get better for you or your marriage. Because at some point, Thomas is going to wake up and Thomas is going to be like, OK, well, if she's constantly, you know what I'm saying, admitting to stuff that she's done, what is it that you've done? What is it that you did? What is it that you said? It's not all one sided, Kristen. You have a huge part to play in the rift that's going on between you and your family, a huge part to play in it. And until you own that up, sweet pea, you ain't never going to have no peace in your house. You're not moving right on along, but CC getting back to you right quick. I don't want you to say that you hate her. You don't hate her. You may hate her ways. You may hate the way that she does you, the way she talks to you, the way she treats you around these other tired assholes, but don't ever say you hate her. Please don't because people are here today and gone tomorrow and you don't want your last thought of her to be damn. I said, I hated her. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants that. Um, I do feel like you do need to keep your distance at this point. I really don't see what there is for you and Kristen to talk about. I don't. I don't. Like if I was you, I would be completely done over. If anybody brings up the name CC, I would sit there, look at them just like this here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I don't know no Kristen. I don't know Kristen. If you're not saying me or my son or Byron, I don't know them. That would be my energy. Not saying I hate them because you're giving a person way too much energy for you to say you hate them. Um, Shawnee says that CC always leaves when the fire gets on her. I mean, Shawnee, she's a grown ass woman. And at this point, there was no reason for Evelyn or nobody to have brought up the situation between Kristen and Cece. It seemed to me if y'all are so over it, like y'all say y'all are, there were other co topics of conversation to talk about other than their family issue. It's none of y'all business. Here is another time, Shawnee, where you could have shut that down. Miss, I'm in charge of the girls. Miss, I am executive producer. Miss, I am all hell queen Shawnee. Girl, bye. Um, Evelyn brings up the issue between Jackie, Phoebe, and Malaysia. 
Evelyn, you messy boots. You messy boots for real. You don't have no storyline, so you don't mind stirring the pot and, and lighting the fire and lighting the flame under everybody else's. Why did it mean so much to you to bring up that bull crap in the middle of the dinner, knowing that it won't go do nothing but start a bunch of controversy and mess? Because that's exactly what that whole first dinner was. It was a bunch of mess. Your mess caused Phoebe to get a battery in her back, and she was she better be so glad Jackie was sitting there. See, Jackie must have took a volume, a tranquilizer, or she must have hit shiny weep in or something. Because the old Jackie would have bend over on Phoebe while she was sitting there talking all that cold cast shit. Jackie sat there and allowed that Phoebe to say whatever the flying hell that she wanted to say to her. And Jackie, I am very proud of you too. Because you really could have pounced on her and did some major damage. Now, quiet as it's kept, that would have been my go-to. But because I don't condone violence... I'm really glad you just sat there and did the rich white woman thing. Allowed her to have her moment, her little 15 minutes to get it off her chest. And that's just what that situation was. Um, CC opens up to Jackie and OG about her relationship with Kristen. And yet again, Kristen, this makes you look bad. It do. It makes you look bad. And I've been saying this shit the entire season. You don't have no storyline either. So why not sit here and continue this pathetic ass drama between you and Cece? Like at this point, the shit is old. The shit is old. So she told OG some shit that really was public knowledge. I mean, the, the Instagram post about him not being his father came out before the episode did. So I'm not understanding why it's, it's, it's such a huge problem for you. Because girl, we all knew it. Why is you still holding on to that? And if this woman is supposed to be your soon to be mother-in-law, why would you not want to make that relationship better? Which will therefore make the relationship between your husband and his father better. Since that's what you up here crying and hotling about what you want. Girl, I can't tell. On the second day of the trip, Shawnee splits the girls up into two groups. OG, Phoebe, Malaysia, and CC go riding on the ATVs, and Kristen, Evelyn, Shawnee, and Jackie go on a gondola ride. Why was they separated? I mean, to me, it's just bullshit. And at this point, the show just needs to be over with. Like, when did cash trips be like this? Cash trips ain't never been like this. And, and on everybody's cash trip, yeah, you, excuse me, yeah, you may have done things, you know, with your individual clique. But when it was time for the group to be together, it was time for the group to be together. Why did they feel the need to have to split stuff up? But then again, dealing with these old ass bras and their immaturity level, I can't see why the producers said, girl, y'all not about to come down here and tear up these people's stuff. So I'm not mad at the production. I get it. Um, the ATV group talks about what happened between Evelyn and Cece. Cece has had enough. Cece is tired of Evelyn and her shit. She's tired of Kristen and her shit. She's just sick of every single solitary time she comes around these two women. They always feel the need to make her the topic of conversation and the butt of everybody's jokes. And Kristen, I'm telling you, there's no need for me to get you together no more either, Kristen, because there's nothing else that I can say about you either to demean and humiliate you more than what the hell you've already done done for yourself. I have nothing else in the tank for you either, Kristen. Do you, mama? Do you? Um, uh... She also calls Evelyn non-classy and a hood rat. But I mean, Ev, you are. So, I mean, it ain't like, I mean, I didn't see no lie told. Uh, what I didn't like and what I did have a problem with was Malaysia being so quick to stand up and take up for uh, Evelyn. But she did not do the same for Chris, I mean, for Cece. And we're going to get to that in a minute. The Gondola Groups talks about what happened between Jackie and Phoebe. Um, Jackie claims that she heard from an anonymous source, probably the same source that told her that bullshit about Malaysia and her cheering, 
that um, Phoebe is a crack addict and that's why she's as small as she is. Now, as much as I don't care for Phoebe, I'm not going to put something on her to that magnitude that I don't know for sure is there. So I'm not going to make no jokes about that. I really hope that this girl, like you already this big girl, I could just only imagine what smoke and crack on a daily basis would do to your little giblet ass body that you got so i just hope not evelyn says you drank and you you smoked the weed pipe too um and i really hope that's all you do i'm not gonna make no joke about that because i got people in my family that suffer with that addiction and it's just not a funny thing to you know what i'm saying so i'm not about to do that i still don't like you but i'm not about to lay you out for dirt like that um phoebe once again run, runs her mouth about what CC told them and it's mighty funny Phoebe like the very things that you sat there and tried to explain why you had such a problem with Jackie about doing you still doing it you've been doing it since you first got on the show and you steady doing it now now there's about to be a whole issue down to this uh damn dinner uh, anyway shiny imitate CC and see Malaysia this is where I'm about to get you together because much like Kristen, I cannot believe that you would sit there and allow Shawnee to talk about your family like that. I just can't. And then you're going to go in your confessionals and say you don't want to make it look like you're in the middle, but you are. Not only are you in the middle, you picked a side. You took up for Evelyn way more than you tried to take up for CC with Evelyn. You done already made your choice. You done picked your side. Brandy is no longer there. Tammy is no longer present. All you have to do now is lean on Kristen and Evelyn and, and Shawnee. So why not play into their bag of tricks? Like, I just didn't like that, Malaysia. For you to be so real and for you to love your family and want your family together as much as you say you do, you should have been the one to have gotten Evelyn and Shawnee's pig face ass together. Girl, Evelyn wasn't at the table for five minutes. Evelyn wasn't at the table for five seconds. Girl, Evelyn ain't even sit down, order her drink, looked around, looked at the ambiance, checked to see how far the bathroom was from the table, ain't looked for no cute men. She ain't did none of that before she sat out and said, okay, see, first of all, I heard you had a lot to say about me, and I want to know what you had to say. And I'm so proud of Cece for standing up for herself, because I told you on the last video, Cece ain't no punk. Cece look like she knows some shit to where she'll tap you on your shoulder and your whole body will be paralyzed for 48 hours. Evelyn, you better leave that damn woman alone. And I'm proud of Cece for standing up for herself, calling her evil. She's a bitch. This, that, that, and this. And Evelyn saying, I'm a bitch? Well, yeah, girl, as long as you know. As long as you know. we got, As long as you know, sis, then it is what it is. Um, Like, Evelyn... Uh, uh, girl, that's it for the basketball because I'm about to get a headache. That's it for the basketball rise of you. But I do want to harp on this for a real quick second. Evelyn, you are taking things to the extreme and you are really taking things to another level that it does not need to get to. You running around here falling foul, false police reports, trying to get a, a restraining order put out on this woman, not knowing what issues that can cause to her for her future endeavors the fact that you are this desperate to want to make yourself out to be a victim for a situation that you cause shows me how tasteless how tacky how immature how common and how selfish you are as a human being as a person as a mama i'm completely disappointed in you i am i'm disappointed in you and i'm disappointed in your character and I really cannot wait to see what this reunion has in store for you. Like, and I, I, it like, I don't know how many people signed the petition. I don't even know if the petition is going to do anything. Because while I'm sitting here talking all of this stuff, they could be in the works of making a whole nother season. And we're going to see her doing the exact same thing to some new girls the next season. That's just the reality of it. But what I think that we need to start doing is just start pulling back our resources. Like, after this season go off i'm probably not gonna do no more basketball wise uh videos if they come back out with the next season i'm just not like i'm just tired of the back and forth over stuff that don't matter and now you got this chimichanga eating ass girl 
wanting to pull goddamn punk moves, like putting restraining orders out on some. I guess, Evelyn, whatever makes your boat float, girl, I, I, I guess. Girl, but that's really all I got. I ain't got no more to give you. Um, y'all jump down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about tonight's episode. Um, let me know y'all looking forward to seeing Evelyn get body slammed into them bushes. And let me know if y'all plan on watching the reunion, considering Tammy ain't going to be there. And OG is going to be in a whole nother room, secluded, probably in a whole nother building. Um, I'm just not looking forward to the reunion because I don't see what they're going to give us. Tammy ain't there. OG ain't there in person to say what she got to say. CeCe is not going to show up at all because of the way that they're doing OG. So the only thing that we got to talk about is Shawnee's weed business that we could care less about. Um, whatever the hell Evelyn over there doing, we, we know what she normally do. But whatever it is that she's doing or not doing, because we don't know. Um, we don't have much to talk about with Kristen other than this beef that she's still trying to hang on to to have a storyline between CC. But with CC not being there, I don't see how that's going to do any good for her. Malaysia ain't got nothing real going on other than this beef that she's trying to create with Jackie. And I'm still confused at why Malaysia is blaming Jackie for anything. Jackie didn't run around telling nobody your uh, business. That boy came to her and told her the information. She went back and told the group true enough but she was not the one who initially went around and spread it up a rumor like that against you when you are that woman's friend i just don't see jackie doing that to you malaysia and the fact that you still trying to crucify her and put this narrative out there just shows me that you don't have a storyline so why not keep this up until the end um <sighs> i don't know y'all but like comment share and most importantly being subscribed please continue to subscribe and i am going to do green leaf it may not be tonight but i will put green leaf up here for y'all for my green leaf watches maybe tomorrow or friday sometime and until next time i t subs i'm gonna holla at y'all later bye